Hi, I'm Mark with the North Shore Commercial Door.com. Today we're going to, to do a product introduction, and this is a LiftMaster transmitter. It is a uh, what we call a passport transmitter, and it's got a part number of PPK3PHM. And it's, uh, it's a dual purpose transmitter in that it sends out a radio signal by pushing one of the buttons on the transmitter. And there's also glued inside of the case, there is a uh, radio frequency card. And I'll, I'll spend a couple minutes talking about that here in a moment. Uh, when you get it, it's going to come in a nice little white box. I'm going to open it up and see what comes in here. They wrap it up so it's shock proof in the transportation mode. It's what we call a keychain transmitter because it's got a very small physical size and it's got a little clip on there that you could use to clip to your keychain. It's got three buttons on it so it'll operate three different devices. A device could be a door, could be a gate opener, uh, could be three doors, three gate openers, or any mix and match of that equipment. Just what it'll operate depends on the engineer that built it to begin with and what he wanted it to do. Okay, now this transmitter would unlikely be used in a residential situation because it's a, it's a very highly encrypted transmitter. And when I say encrypted, if you look at the back of it, each one of these transmitters has its own personal serial number attached with it and when it's sending out its signal it's sending out that serial number so the receiver that receives the signal from this has to be programmed so that it will accept that serial number so if you're going to buy this and it's being used on a um, community gate or in a parking garage or any kind of a secure setting you're not going to be able to tune it in yourself you're going to have to take this to the gatekeeper or the management company or whatever you want to call them and say I've got a new transmitter that I want to tune into the system and you'll have to ask them to uh, tell the receiver to accept that now, it's a good idea that you have a conversation with the uh, management company before you buy these because some will tune in your transmitters and some will not. So rather than be disappointed by them not tuning it in for you, you really should have that conversation um, with them. Now, when I say it's unlikely that this would be used in a residential application, there are some instances where the big button, just using that as an example, will operate a community gate. And if you've got a Chamberlain LiftMaster product, that this is compatible with, you could probably tune the other two buttons to operate your own garage. The uh, capability of this is to send that highly encrypted uh, signal with a serial number, but that same uh, encryption can operate the lower security home type doors. So it's it's pretty versatile, but again, it's it's pretty sophisticated. So. If you need one of these, make sure you do your homework and uh, read all about it. Now, they, they send a very concise set of directions with us. But there's really not much that you can do with them because the, the gatekeeper's got to tune it in for you. Now, the other thing that this has is buried in here, glued in there somewhere, is an RFI chip. And that RFI chip is, is a device that is read by a reader and typically inside of a, a secure complex just use an example let's say you live in an apartment building it's got a swimming pool in it to keep the swimming pool secure they usually put a lock on the door and some locks are triggered by waving a badge in front of it or waving a card uh, some have wristbands this transmitter has an RFI chip glued in it so you could carry this with you to open and close the community gate your garage door 
and you also wave this in front of that card reader and it would give you access to that room. So it uh, does two things for you. Uh, it'll operate three radio control devices and it'll operate as many card readers or, or unlocking devices that it's trained to do. And here again, this is in the uh, RFI chip. It's, it's going to read a serial number, so this is not something that you can just buy and tune in yourself. You're going to have to take it to the management people and say, please add it. So we've got them. Come and get them. If you run into trouble making it work, please give us a call. If we can't help you, I can always get you to uh, Chamberlain Liftmasters tech support people. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video from NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.